that's cute you can't deny it anyway if you really like tiktok <laughs> oh hello mental i can't even tell you how much a little bit of fake tan and a cheeky hair chop the amount of like self-esteem but it gives you. I felt like shit on a person's shoe about 12 hours ago and now I feel quite nice. <laughs> Hello everyone, I really hope you're doing well. So today, just a moment. Super quickly, hair chop is last week's video. So if you wanna see how I did it, myself, go and watch that. But if you're here for today's video, then you are here because you wanna see some Amazon buys. Amazon is just a place that you can go and you can purchase anything. It's a real kind of like hub for a lot of people and it's a place that a lot of people can get to. I have 12 things that basically are a little bit life-changing. They're not all life-changing, they're life-improving. The basic categories that we've got are kind of everyday household, plant-related, tea-related, book-related, camera-related, and like DIY-related. So quite a lot. Surely there's something in there that is tickling your little fancy. So stick around. If you like the look of me or the idea of me and my personality, that was really awful. Don't judge me on that. But subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. I post content all the damn time. So yeah, click the subscribe button. Anyway, let's get on with the number 12. What? Let's get on with top 12 things that I really like from Amazon. First thing, I'm not going to unplug because it, I think, ruins all, you know, the, the data. So I'm going to do a cutaway. But basically, it is a Amazon Echo Dot holder. I really hate wires and like extra wires. I think a lot of people do. It kind of brings stress to the eye socket and I would just rather be without them. So what it does is it keeps the echo with the plug and there's no wires in between. You've just got it like on the wall. What I really like about it is that it takes away any space that it would take up of your worktops. We have ours in our kitchen. So I like that it's just like on the wall. It's away from any like food prep or anything like that. I just think it's a banging idea. Number two, we're moving swiftly into the plant category. At the moment, I haven't really delved into our garden in terms of planting my own plants and shite. I'm getting there, maybe next summer, I'm thinking. However, houseplants I'm just adoring, quite frankly. So I've been missing a little, oh, hello. I've been missing a little watering can. I do find some places overcharge you for things like this. H&M Home, I think this was about like 20 pounds, 25 pounds. I think this was like under a tenner. What do you really need from it other than for it like not to leak? But I just really like the aesthetic. It's actually like decorative as well as really functional. I like that it's got quite like a direct spout so you can kind of like get right in your plant and give it some nice direct drinkage. It's a little bit smaller than maybe I was thinking. Like I do have to kind of like refill it for some of my bigger plants but it doesn't really bother us. Like I quite enjoy filling it and stuff. It doesn't bother us in any way, shape or form. So yes, that is a good one. I haven't said that everything will be linked down below. Everything will be linked down below quite clearly, including this, this banger. Continuing with the plant, I might as well go on to this. Plant food, uh, house plant food. I don't know if I'm naive. I thought that water was like the food of a plant. Did you hear that? Oh, how I love living near a hospital. <laughs> So this is plant food. I didn't realise that plants need food. I thought the water was the plant food. But it's not. It's really not. Apparently, 
Water is drink and plant food is food. A really good brand, really good price more than anything. It was like really highly recommended. Anything I get on Amazon, I really care about the reviews. I don't tend to buy anything under like four and a half stars. Cause I think like if the reviews are there, they're there for a reason, do you know what I mean? So anything on here, I've like sifted through all the shite and these are the good things. So just so you're aware, plant food, not much else to say about it. You put like a drop in here, a few drops, little squirt occasionally and fill it with water and then just water as usual. But yeah, very canny. Final plant thing. What number are we on? Number four is a plant mister. If you're not big on the plants, they like a little drink, but some of them love a little mist of a leaf. I'll just show you. Can you even see it? Cause it's like the most satisfying thing ever. And now my hand is soggy. You see? Mental! This is it really. I love it. I think it's so cute. I love the aesthetic of this. Just another thing to add to my plant collection. I think I bought these all in one go and then they came and I'm like, I'm the plant guru. I own everything they'll ever need. So yeah, that's that really. So that's really canny as well and that was like a really good price too. <gasps> Number five is an organisational woman or man or anything in betweens dream. It's a Dymo label maker. Now anyone who even like has dipped their toe into the labelling world will know about this. It's the, probably like the most known well known one. <laughs> It's probably the most well-known like labelling machine ever. I love it because it's pretty. Like it makes really nice labels. They're like minimal. I like them in the black, plain and simple. The black labelling and the white writing and it's just sexy. It is a sexy piece of kit. What do you want me to write for you? Shall I write like just Julie? Excuse my fake tan tans. That's cute, you can't deny it. You can't deny it. So that's the idea of it. But what I love is like labeling me kitchen stuff. I won't lie to you at the minute. We're not really at the stage of the housing that it's needed. We need to do quite a lot of like other stuff until we can like organize cupboards and stuff. So it's time is coming, but it's potential is undescribable. It's amazing. I'll be honest with you, okay? I thought I'd lost this bad boy and I was so stressed about it that I bought another one and then I found the old one and now I own two. But I'm reluctant to give this to anybody else just in case anything happens to it. I'm apparently very like label mental, so there you go. Number six and number seven are tea related. Does anyone own a tea bag holder? Do you know those mini little plates that you pop your tea bag on and then you can reuse it if you want? Mine used to be, I think we had like one of those like very basic like B&M ones that's like time for a cover and it's like white and gray. It's fine, it's fine. But I just thought I'm growing up in the world and I want one that's a little bit more my vibe. And I'm very much a tea person, like I'm hardcore tea till I die kind of thing. So I was like, I deserve something that reflects my personality. So <laughs> I went for this one. Not everyone is gonna like this. It's quite like a grannyish print, quite like vintagey. I would say it's like slight granny vibes but I just love it. I'll give a little close up. So it looks like that. I'm trying to pinpoint what designer print this is like. Can someone comment it down below? Cause it's driving me a bit insane. There's like a certain fashion designer that does prints like this and I can't even remember. Can you not imagine that on like a beautiful floaty midi dress? I would wear the shite out of that. So yeah, they did a collaboration with H&M. This is going to grind my little gears. And I, Emma, who watches me videos, Emma, 
Could you comment it down below, please? Because you definitely bought from that collection. That's going to really annoy me, but I'm not gonna text her before I'm finished filming. Anyway, I just love it with a passion. And it's like a nice little introduction of print in a very mini thing. And yeah, pretty. What I like though as well, just super quick, why do they sell these in like a white? Because they go all disgusting and like brown and you can really tell that they're dirty. Whereas with this, it's got like a little bit of brown in it. So if it's got like a tea stain on it, you can't really tell. The second tea item, I don't own. I'm just gonna get sat down. I don't own. I gifted it to my mother a few Christmases ago, while I still lived at her house. I'm not gonna lie. I bought it partly because I could then use it every day because I lived there. And it made our lives significantly easier. Just while I'm talking about it, it's a tea bag strainer. It looks like this. I'll see if she can send me a video of her using it, but she's uh, she's not the most technical person. I don't know if she'd be able to do that. I made a tea for me and Tom just before filming, and I severely burnt my fingertips trying to squeeze the last bits out of the tea bag, you know? Yeah, I just remembered back and I thought, I could really do with one of those. So I'm gonna get on Amazon when I'm making my next order and I'm gonna add that to my bag because I can't tell you how good and easy and painless it makes making a cup of tea. I would say it's life changing and my life's been changed back to normal and I'm not happy about it. So yeah, majorly recommend. We're moving on through into two book recommendations. If you're not a book person, that's fine. Just skip on through. There's plenty of more fun things to go. So hold up. So number eight, is the book that I am currently reading at the moment. It is Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. I'm so sorry if I butchered that name. Evaristo, what a fabulous name. Wow, well done you. As you can see, I'm not too far in, I can't lie but I am loving it. It's not like the easiest read, partly because um, she's made the like artistic decision to not use any full stops. So you're kind of like, not struggling, but you just kind of have to think like, is this the end of the sentence? Okay, think how that sentence like was meant to sound. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't make it like really hard to read. I think maybe that's just why I'm getting through it a bit slower. It's just like getting it in your head kind of thing. It's such a clever book. It follows 12 very different characters on an entwined journey of discovery. Basically, it's 12 black women finding their way in very different walks of life, but it's kind of like their shared experience of racism, homophobia, feminism, and like all those issues. But it's funny, it's dramatic, it's heartbreaking, it's so just brilliant, like brilliant. So I'm currently really enjoying that and it's really eye-opening actually. I bought this after kind of realizing that I really need to educate myself a lot more about the kind of Black Lives Matter movement. And yeah, I have found this really, really good for that. So massive recommendation for that. And then the second one I don't have with me because I have given it to my mum and dad to read. It is called The Silent Patient by it's escaped me, but it's gonna be on screen now. Brilliant book, brilliant. I whizzed through that one. That one I bought kind of like, not at the start of lockdown, but kind of, you know, midway through or something. And I really wanted to kind of like kickstart into reading. I really wanted to kind of not go online as much because I was getting quite emotionally damaged. <laughs> So yeah, that's when this book came to the rescue for me. It was one of those absolute page turners. I think if you're not like a avid reader, this one was so easy to read. I think I finished it in like under a week. And for someone who like hadn't been reading much before that, you know, that's quite a speedy, speedy little journey. It has so many twists and turns. It gets you kind of like right at the end, which I love. Like I love knowing like, this isn't the end. 
some shit's gonna go down and it definitely does so sorry i didn't really like say so this one is more ugh, i don't even know what genre that would be just like a fiction but the other one is like a thriller like a whodunit which are definitely my favorite things to read i love all that that one i majorly recommend if you're not an avid reader so next number 10 it's still a book but it's not a reading book so hold on sudoku challenges <laughs> I think you can kind of tell from this list. I've been looking for ways to not be on my phone so much. I have found my phone actually really bad for my mental health at the moment. And like this whole year, I don't like having like all this information at my fingertips with what's going on, the news and just everything. I don't want to know sometimes, like I can't physically take it. <laughs> but I'm also really bad at having like nothing in my hands. I need to be doing something. So stuff like this has been so helpful. I will sometimes do these in the bath. I'll do them like at night time when I'm trying to just like get my brain not thinking of the world. <laughs> oh, on my break as well at work. I got into a routine of literally like going on my break at work and just scrolling through the news and it was not a good routine. So um, I tried to just switch off my phone and I would open up one of these bad boys. So yeah, look at that. I would just really recommend giving them a go because these ones are pretty easy. I've only done the easy ones so far. So. <laughs> Yeah, they're not too difficult. You've got the answers there if you're really struggling. Number 11 is two things, but they're of the same sort of thing. It's tripods. You don't have to necessarily like be on the YouTubes or anything, but if you really like photography, if you really like TikTok, <laughs> then these are still applicable to you. So Number one, I'll get out of the way, is um, a vlogging tripod, it's a handheld tripod. So I stick my vlogging camera on there when I'm doing my videos, but I find this one particularly brilliant. I bought like a gorilla pod like a year ago, well no, probably two years ago, and it was poo. Like. <laughs> It didn't support the weight of my vlogging camera. It would just bend over. I was like, this is a great purchase from me. So I jumped in, I bought this. I think it was around like 20 pounds, which for me, I felt like it was a bit of an investment for something like this. But I'm so pleased I've done it. I've since seen that the Anna Edit has it as well. So I was like, it's just like no nonsense. So if you like take videos for holidays and stuff and you want a stabilizer for your camera, it's so good for that. Tom used this when he filmed my flat tour with me. So watch that if you haven't. I didn't realize what I was missing when I'd just been holding my camera and you can hear your hands on the mic and stuff, just not the one. So this has been a brilliant little bit of kit. And then the second thing, well, it's like same thing really, is a phone tripod there you go it's massive but this is the box it came in so that's the bigness that it collapses to but it's huge it's the best i was so chuffed with this i don't think this was that expensive either but a cracking buy from me reviews reviews are just the best thing this saved me when through lockdown my vlogging camera broke and I couldn't really get it fixed anywhere so I had to resort to using my phone for my videos. I was doing loads of like home vlogs of like our flat transformation like we did a lot of DIY during lockdown so this was just the best. It's so manoeuvrable so easily collapsible I could get like any angle I wanted just by like tilting this and it meant that like even though obviously the quality wasn't like there I could still get like different angles and stuff I didn't have to just like rest my phone on things the other big thing about this I'm not a big tiktoker hold up wait a minute is a chopper but how perfect would that be just to like set up your phone for a tiktok perfection yeah look at that easy and that took me like 10 seconds final thing bloody hell is spray paint this 
is DIY spray paint, basically. Multi-purpose, black matte finish which is my favourite thing on planet Earth. We're not kind of at the stage of doing lots of kind of like finishing touches with this. All I've done with this so far is spray paint a picture frame, but I've been so pleased with the result and it's a really good coverage. I only had to do one coat. Did I do two coats? No, I did one. It just means you don't have to buy everything matte black because if you're like me, I'm well into like matte black hardware, matte black kind of like detailing on stuff, but not a lot of stuff does. Pretty much always comes in like a chrome, like silver finish, which I'm just not about anymore. I'm really not. Like I love the modernness of a bit matte black. So that's where this is best thing ever. That is it. All of those things, if you like the look of anything, everything is linked down below and you will find it very easily on Amazon. The links down below are affiliate links. So if you click on those links, anything you buy, I'll just make like a very small commission at no extra price to you. Absolutely no pressure, but it does just help me keep doing what I'm doing. So thank you so much for watching. I hope something has like tickled your fancy and thought like, that will change my life. The idea is that something is just gonna make your life a little bit easier, a little bit more enjoyable. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate you clicking the like button. If you liked it quite a lot, then why don't you subscribe? This is a very fun little channel. You'll see more of me on the regular. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.